Hello everyone, you're welcome to VLBC Jewel YouTube channel. It's been a while on this channel. Um, I want to say thank you to all our subscribers for always keeping in touch and thanks to the new subscribers. Don't forget to press the notification button in order for you to get notification whenever we upload a new video. As we all know, for some couples of months, we have started our uh, uh, FGIS tutorial on how to perform some analysis. And we started with our uh, analysis on how to estimate average annual soil loss. So, using the Rosu model, which we started with, the Rosu model equation is given as a equals to R multiplied by K, multiplied by LS, multiplied by C, and multiplied by P. Our A is the average annual soil loss, while R is the rainfall runoff erosivity factor, K is the soil erodibility factor, LS is the slope length stiffness factor, C is the cover management factor, and P, the conservation practices uh, factor. R in my previous videos I've been able to uh, prepare a map of rainfall erosivity uh, soil erodibility slope length and stiffness and um, cover management map with the conservation practice map so today we are just going to estimate our a, which is the average annual soil loss using the Rosu model equation. So let's get started. So after launching your ARC map, you have to add all the data, that is the map you have prepared, map of factors that are responsible for soil loss. So using the Rosu model, I'm going to start with my R. I want to add my R followed by K. So, so just going to the folder that contain all the maps that I actually prepared. So the erosivity factor. So this is the map for the erosivity factor. You can just change the color ramp. I'm just trying to give it a kind of color ramp. Hmm. Okay, so the next data is to supply the soil erodibility and the soil erodibility map is what i will be adding now which is our k factor no 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 sorry i would like to add my erodibility factor in another folder so let me just is the soil I have to change the I have it in two different places so I want to change the color around so that is the the next data to add is the C I mean the LS factor according to the 
so I'm adding the LS factor followed by C and P. So going back to my previous folder where I have other data. So we have the LS factor. This is the LS factor. My data you can change the ramp as well. Okay. Next to add is the C factor. Before we've now finally had the P factor map. So the C factor map. Yes, this is the C factor. Yeah, this is the C factor. Then the last map is to add the P factor map. So here is the P factor map as well. So that is all the map required for this erosivity, uh, soil map, soil erodibility, LS factor, C factor, and R factor. The next thing to do now is to move on to raster calculator in order for us to estimate, in order to estimate the soil laws so you go to map or gibra and the rest are calculator so from the equation we can see r multiply by k multiply by ls multiply by c and multiply by p so we are going to multiply all this together so go back to the raster calculator and the next thing is R factor multiplied by uh, K factor multiplied by LS factor multiplied by C factor multiplied by P factor and which I tag A I like to put it in my map so A underscore Soil so. I guess the name is too long, so let me just remove something. So now we have, wow, you can see the map as beautiful as anything. So I can now of every other data or map that are not required for this map. So we've been able to estimate for the soil loss. I want to change the color ramp to something that will really depict forget to keep in touch for the our next video in my next video i will be moving to another analysis entirely and this will has to do with the groundwater potential that is mapping the ground